Hello guys, welcome to Benghazi TV this morning. It's amazing for us to come your way. Once again, we chat room on Benghazi TV here on YouTube. And like I always tell you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. All you do is look at that button down there, click on it. There's a bell next to it as well. Click on that one as well. You'll get notified whenever you post something here on Benghazi TV here on YouTube. Now, today we have a special, special guest with us who share her experiences traveling around the world, how she's been managing life in our GH. She's been enjoying life in Ghana, actually. And I'll be asking her today how it's been for her as uh, she's been in Ghana for some time now. Life in Ghana, life around the world and everything there is, you want to experience and get that from her today on our chat with her. Our, our guest today is an award-winning TV personality who currently is the host of Cheers on GH1 TV. She's well-traveled. She's been around the globe. She's, I don't want to use the word globe proton, but she's been traveling all around the world, having fun. And she is indeed a former, I mean, not even former, she's someone who loves pageants. And so we'll ask her about all that today on our chat room with Ben Gadi. So our guest today is the one and only Shali Abusi. Uh, she is Belgian and she is the host of Cheers on GH1 TV and also a TV, award TV personality. Charlie, good to have you join us on our channel. Thanks for having me. So, Charlie, tell us, um, how has the experience been like for you with uh, <laughs> the few, uh, how many months have you been in Ghana, first of all? I just got back two months ago. So, how has it been for you, the two, last two months in Ghana? It's been challenging, in a way, um, to settle, to work here now. You know, now it's not... For vacation or you know to do business now is actually to work and it's definitely been challenging in some ways but also very beautiful i've been having uh, the time to uh, get to know a lot of people you know see the workspace in ghana as well so it's definitely been very very interesting for me so when was the first time you came to ghana 2017 uh, to represent my country as a beauty queen so I came to participate in an international pageant and um, I really liked Ghana. I fell in love with it immediately. The culture, mm. the uh, people are very welcoming. Um, it was a beautiful experience. So tell us, um, so you've been here, you first came up in 2017, like you said, about five years ago. You went back after the pageant, obviously. Yes. What was the like next time you came back to Ghana? Um, almost two years ago, okay. um, I, I launched my social media and digital marketing company, mm -hmm. The Online Empire, and my business partner at the time was Ghanaian. Okay. And it was actually her idea to come and explore the business opportunities here in Ghana. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let's go. I like Ghana the first time I was there, so I'm definitely open to do that. And, um, well, I ended up investing. I ended up meeting a lot of amazing people, had a great time. And then I started to travel back and forth um, once every couple months. And now we are here. So you've been here put together for some time, uh, two months, like you said, in the last two months. Plus, you've been coming in and going in. How would you describe Ghana with your experiences thus far? Um, what my experience is this far? Well, like I said, Ghana is very welcoming. The people are very warm, very, very welcoming. Um, the culture is beautiful. Um, um, Ghana is uh, up and coming. I would say it's definitely the hot spot for this December. Um, there's a lot of things that people don't know about Ghana. Like there are so many beautiful places here to discover. Ghana has amazing um, opportunity for tourism. Um, people might not see it as a place to come and, and, and experience tourism, but there are so many places that you can go and relax um, or, or even do sightseeing. And also the history is very rich of the country. Yeah. So I, I guess you've been traveling around Ghana. I have. Uh, with your <laughs> stay. Ca can you tell us your most uh, memorable spots, if you like, uh, places you've been to in Ghana? Um, I think the whole trip to the north was very, mm. <laughs> very mm. interesting. Okay. Um, so even the flight there was very challenging. Okay. 
Um, I went to Tamale, went okay. to Molly Park, okay. which was beautiful. Mm. Um, it was a great experience. I was a little bit disappointed because I expected to see like tigers and you know, <laughs> I did see elephants, which, okay. was, which was amazing to see mm. them in their natural habitats. Mm. So um, yeah, that was, that was a very interesting trip. The I north would end say. to the Molly National yes, Park. Yes. Uh, have you done anything around the Volta region? Yes, uh, I've seen Volta region, okay. um, uh, you know, Ada, okay. beautiful treasure islands all of these places you know the the places that everyone goes to um yeah i i love volta region it's very beautiful amazing and that's uh charlie uh, who is an award-winning uh, tv personality and the host of uh, cheers i'll be talking about cheers very very soon and how she took over and how it's been for her so far as the host of the award-winning tv show on gh1 tv cheers but let's still talk a bit about your experiences in Ghana. Um, I've been seeing a few of your posts. You're very active on social media. TikTok, yes, Instagram, very, very active. And I've been seeing some of your, your, your stuff you've been posting. There was one I saw, it, I think it was about your, how Ghanaians describe, was it? I mean, describe uh, people. How, how they no, how they approach women. Yes, 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 yes. Can you tell us a bit about that? What, what, what was that experience? Um, well, <laughs> it's a little bit different than in Europe. You know, in Europe they will whistle or they will call your name, or if they know you know, if they don't know your name, they will say different things. But here, the sounds that I've been hearing are very interesting. Like one day, <laughs> it's you know, <laughs> it's like you're <laughs> like a cat. Another day, it's like I don't know. The sounds are very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. That's Charlie uh, giving us a few of the interesting sounds that Ghanaian men would use in calling the attention <laughs> of uh, ladies in here. Uh, I, uh, going through your profile, you love padding. Well, I'm retired now, but I okay. used to love it. Um, okay. I actually love the aspect of traveling about pageants. Um, you get to see the world, which is beautiful. You get to know so many different cultures because when you're in these international pageants, you are literally surrounded with different cultures um, you learn a lot about yourself it's very good to develop as a person because um, as a young woman you know I was 18 when I went for the first time to China for a whole month by mm. myself okay. so you really have to toughen up um, you learn a lot about yourself you learn a lot about different cultures because you're surrounded with so many other women from different backgrounds different places in the world and it really teaches you uh, a lot about you know how do people think how do they interact what is their culture um, why do they think the way they think um, and I think it's a beautiful thing uh, how many pageants have you been personally involved in um, I think like six five six and you walk us through some of them oh of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah I won I won a fair share of titles mm. <laughs> yeah can you help us appreciate the, the, these ones, details, which ones have you okay, so in and the ones you won? I, I started, um, it was actually as a joke. So when I was okay. 18, someone approached my friends and myself to participate in um, a local pageant, which was called uh, Miss Fruit Belgium, an okay. uh, uh, ambassador of Sintreude, which is a city. Why is it called that way? Because in my country, we are very known for fruit production. Okay. Mm. Uh, apples, pears, strawberries, cherries. Mm. Um, so that's why they, they had um, a pageant named after the area. Okay. Like it was, you know, the name of the city and then related to the ambassador of the area, which is known for their fruit sector. Okay. Mm. So uh, someone approached my friend and myself and they were like, oh, we have this pageant going on. Let's, why don't you guys participate? It's going to be fun. And you know, it was actually a very last minute decision. And we both mm. were like, okay, let's go. Let's do it. Why not? And then I ended up winning. Okay. And it was a surprise, actually. And I just discovered my love for uh, media and, you know, being on stage and stuff. And then I got scouted to represent my country internationally. So I was actually... Um, crowned as uh, Miss Tourism Belgium okay. um, to represent Belgium in the Miss Tourism International pageant, yeah. which is a very big pageant. Yeah. So yeah. women from, you know, all corners of the world come to represent their country. It, was, it, it took place in China, so okay. I had to go to China, to China mm. for a whole month, which, mm. which was a very interesting experience. And I ended up winning Miss Friendship there. 
so yeah. that was that was a very very nice yeah, obviously experience. Obviously, you are good at making friends. I guess so. I guess I can relate to people, you know, talk to people and stuff. I, I, I think I became a little less social during the years, but <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's talk about your, your, your venture into TV and mm -hmm. being behind the screen. When did it all start? Um, well, along with the pageantry came modeling and, you know, obviously the media scene. Mm. So uh, once I started to be known as an international queen for my country, um, I, would, I would be uh, addressed to do uh, reality TV programs. So I'm actually known for reality TV shows, uh, which is a very different thing than we're doing now, mm. you know, hosting a show. Um, but I love reality TV, you know, because it's, it's really, it's real, you know, it shows you as you are. And um, yeah, you take, you take part in these social experiments. Um, you know, I love it. It's fun. Uh, again, from your socials or social media pages, you, you love traveling. I, I love traveling. I see you all over uh, the places. Uh, can you tell us about four or five countries you've been to, apart from Ghana and your country, Belgium? Um, well, I've, I think I've seen almost the whole of Europe. Um, wow. Yeah, the whole of <laughs> almost. Okay. I think a couple countries are lacking. Okay. Um, well, the northern countries like okay. Finland and Denmark. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of Europe. Um, France, Italy, of course, Spain, of Portugal, course. Romania. No, I haven't been to Romania okay. actually. Yeah. Okay. Germany. Germany, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Luxembourg, Switzerland, okay. England. Okay because um, you know it's it's very easy to travel within the Schengen mm -hmm. area Greece I love Greece it's mm -hmm. one of my favorites okay. um, I think the most exotic country I've been to or exotic is um, India okay. I think India was a very very beautiful experience mm -hmm. I've seen the Taj Mahal which mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. nice. wow That's like nice. yes <laughs> yes I think that is one of my top memories when it comes to traveling um, I actually love uh, the UAE. I love okay. Dubai, Abu mm. Dhabi. Mm. Um, and then recently I went to Martinique and St. Lucia, which okay. is beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. What mm. a scenery. So, so beautiful. Yeah. How would you rank, or oh, help us appreciate this, the places you've been to around the world? Give me the top five best countries, as in you know, ambience, environment the looks and all of that so for me personally i really enjoyed indonesia because mm. of the beautiful nature the food the kind people so um thailand as well mm. uh, i love asia by the way it's mm. so they have such a rich history rich culture um so different from our culture so it's very interesting so i would say um indonesia thailand uh top five mm. I think this is difficult. <laughs> I think Dubai is definitely my top five because I love luxury and okay. I love, um, you know, I love things like that. I really enjoyed um, Egypt because of the history, the pyramids okay. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and I would have to put India in there because it's a very, very unique experience. Before we talk about your, your relationships with the Cheers and how, how come you came into the situation of taking over the Cheers program on GH1 TV in, in Ghana. Let's go back to your country, Belgium. <laughs> How was your upbringing like growing up as a kid? How was it like in Belgium? Um, well, this is going to be very interesting. Um, so I'm half Italian, half Belgian. Okay. And back in the days, this is something that a lot of people don't really know. Um, we would be seen as foreigners mm. in Belgium because okay. we come from Italian descent. Okay. So my upbringing was very interesting. I actually got, I actually was bullied in, in school wow. when I was younger. Yes. Wow. Um, so it wasn't really a great experience, um, but it definitely made me into the person I am today. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I have, I have lovely parents. I don't have siblings. Oh, you're the only? Yes. Okay. I'm very close to my mom <laughs> and dad. And mm. my dad has a lot of siblings. I have a lot of aunties and uncles, you know, and the Italian culture is mm. very, very nice. You mm. know, we are very warm. Family is very important to us. Um, well, you know, school is great in Belgium or, or education system is, is great. There are a lot of opportunities if you want to go study. Um, or healthcare is amazing. Um, yeah, it's just a quiet country, mm. I would say. Mm. It's stable, it's safe, it's, it's 
quiet, yeah. Talking about Belgium, it just just about a day or two in the World Cup is going to be underway. <laughs> Belgium are obviously involved once again. A golden generation of the Belgian team seems to be gradually going down. Eden Hazard, Kevin Dubrain, De Bruyne, De Bruyne, and Lukaku and all those guys are going at it again. Your team, Belgium. Mm-hmm. Even though you are supporting the black well, stars, well, now. I'm, um, you're now you know, with the black I'm stars. Ra- I, I you're now switched. with the black stars, obviously. <laughs> but, but do you see Belgium doing quite well this year, the World Cup? Um, I think so. Well, they have been solid the past uh, World Cups and even in the Euro Cups, they have they've been solid. But there's always something lacking for them to really go far. Mm. And I I think maybe this year is going to be a change. I think they are, um, well, there's not a lot of buzz around Belgium. Mm. Um, if we look at, you know, the World Cup and the, the teams that are participating, but I think they can be the underdog who is going to get far this year. Okay. But for them to, you know, to go into the semifinals or quarterfinals, but let's see. In wrapping up, let, let's talk about Cheers and your role on TV now in Ghana on GH1 TV. How did it come up? Cheers, <laughs> Charlie Cheers and GH1 TV. Um, it was actually very random. I was in a beauty salon and uh, Nana Aba actually saw me and we ended up having a conversation. Um, well, I told she asked me what I do. I, I was just um, done with a reality show in Belgium very big reality show called Temptation Island. And um, she was like, oh, you know, we should sit down and talk and, and, you know, see what we can do. And well, now we are here. It actually went very fast. And, you know, I went back home after, shortly after. So, um, you know, I I took it into consideration. I was like, okay, you know, maybe it's something that I want to pursue Um, because it's definitely a new, a new adventure, a new chapter, because it's different from, very different from reality TV. Mm. Um, but I, I really wanted to, you know, take the shot and see where it's going to bring me. And how has it been so far for you? Two editions already on TV, uh, plus all the build up and everything. How has the experience been for you? Um, it's definitely been challenging. Um, I've been, I'm not going to lie, I've been stressed, I've been working hard. Uh, been studying my sports, um, yeah, <laughs> learning a lot. It's it's definitely been very, very interesting, and I've learned a lot so far. So yeah. And that's a chat with Charlie Abuzi, who is a Belgian, Italian, and also now a Ghanaian because <laughs> she's now supporting the Black Stars of Ghana. Having a chat with her on chat room on Benghazi TV, of course on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot through for you. B- before you wrap it up. Now, you've experienced Ghana. Yes. Obviously, Belgium is your country. In the next two years, where do we see you staying a lot more? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll definitely be here most of the time now. Um, but we'll see what the future brings, right? So Absolutely. <laughs> I'm wrapping up. I want to be controversial. Do you have a Ghanaian boyfriend? No, I don't. Do you want to have one? Uh, well, they can submit application <laughs> forms. <laughs> Oh, that's Write Charlie. a motivational letter. Uh, and after that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our chat with Charlie. Thank you very much, Charlie, as well. It's a pleasure. Great to have you in our chat room on Bengali TV. And I'm sure you will enjoy every bit of your stay in Ghana. And the very best of luck as you run the Cheers show. Great Thank show. You. Two editions, fantastic so far. And I wish you the very best on the show. Thank you so much. Great. That's it for our chat on chat room on Bengali TV. Our guest today has been... TV award winning personality and the host of Cheers on GH1 TV, Charlie Abuzi. Uh, she's a Belgian, Italian, and now Ghanaian. It's a wrap. I'll see you guys one other time. Have a good day. <laughs>